Inside the Blind Iris is an experimental film exploring a dystopian universe contained within the confines of a brutalist factory. We follow a character referred to throughout the description as our hero. They have deep brown skin, short black dreads and a neat goatee beard. They are both vulnerable and defiant as they make their way through this dystopian setting. Their soulful dark eyes often staring at us in a challenging gaze. They wear dark, loose-fitting trousers and a deep red top. Other dancers appear in the piece, always working as a collective. A diverse mixture of genders and ethnicities, they switch between moving across the space like one organism, swarming our hero, or speeding past our hero in an unsettling confusion of directions and dynamics. They are all dressed in loose-fitting white tops and bottoms. The dancers use a plethora of dance styles and switch deftly between movements that are glitching, jagged, lyrical, viscerally dynamic, tense and sustained. Illustration and animation feature heavily in the piece, with handwritten captions linking the different sections. The illustrations are simplistic black and white line drawings and scrawls which often invade the screen in a dizzying frenzy. The effect is a cacophony of visual information which engulfs the screen. The film begins in colour, but once we enter the factory we are plunged into black and white, only returning to colour at the end of the piece. With echoes of the 1927 German expressionist science fiction film Metropolis, this impactful experimental film gives the viewer a beautifully nightmarish insight into the mind of the hero. Sadler's Wells Digital Stage presents Inside the Blind Iris. A clock tower, the hands of the clock spin quickly. We pan out to reveal the clock tower is on top of a large, brutalist factory. There's a person lying in front of it. This is our hero. They stagger unsteadily to their feet and look up at the factory. Silhouetted against the misty blue sky, they start to stagger towards the building. A bright light illuminates them. It's coming from the factory entrance. They walk towards it. Now inside, we're plunged into black and white. We cut to an image of a solitary figure walking up a slope. A small door slowly opens. Behind it, we see several eyeballs moving about in different directions. Handwritten caption which reads, You are stuck in a daydream. Our hero shatters a mirror and stares into it. As they peer into it, the mirror transforms into another handwritten caption. Better to wake up, you fool. Now they're a silhouetted marionette puppet. They are controlled by large hands, manipulating them using wires attached to their arms. Another caption, you still on time to give up. Black and white footage of our hero walking through the factory. Factory workers jerk and glitch as they operate the machinery. Our hero rushes past them and walks through a darkened doorway. Caption, the machine was not made for you. An animation of a figure ground up by the cogs of a machine. Alone in another part of the factory, our hero's staccato movements are played in reverse. Suddenly, they lunge forward in the space. 
Their arms swing wildly, pulling their body along with the movement. They drop to the floor, spinning in a circle as they scrabble up to standing. Beating their chest in time with the downbeat, they arch backwards. A white figure replaces them in the space. The screen's covered by the words, work, 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 repeat, 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 obey, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. In silhouette, several figures walk slowly up a staircase. A fluorescent light bulb flickers in a corridor as our hero walks towards us. A group of dancers appear for a moment at the other end of the corridor. The light flickers as they sway to the beat. Suddenly alone again, the hero continues down the corridor. The dancers appear again. They sway and bounce towards us. They appear in another part of the corridor, thrusting elbows to the side. Our hero walks into a dark room with strips of light shining through the slatted walls. Dancers run by him. The room appears to tilt as the dancers run out of the shadows and through the strips of bright light. Now they move together like a shoal, leaping in the air as they rush to different corners of the space. They thrust arms out to the side and then bounce to the beat. Close-up shots of the dancers screaming as they nod their heads. The image is frozen mid-scream, then returns to them screaming. Our hero stares at us as the dancers stand behind, pulsing to the beat. They bounce forwards and envelop our hero in a tight circle. Still bouncing, they turn on the spot. They separate to reveal our hero staring at us defiantly. Captions, life, cycle, loop. The dancers are now standing in front of a large circular structure with a hole in the middle. Moving as one with heads bowed, they punch a fist in front of them as they bounce to the beat. Gradually, a hand appears from inside the structure. The dancers pulse and bounce to the beat, dipping low and coming back to standing. Now standing in single file with feet together, the dancers sway stiffly, jerking their torsos over to alternating sides. They now have strained grimace-like smiles plastered on their faces as they move. Suddenly they start shuffling their feet and swinging their bodies from side to side. They swipe at the air as they shuffle their feet. Their movements are jerky, staccato and loose, arms swinging freely through the air. Suddenly they come to stillness, stand upright and turn their backs towards us. We pan up away from them, rising up over their heads and into darkness. A hand appears and seems to pull the image laughing face. Several faces are now morphed into each other. A close-up image of eyes looking to one side. We zoom in on one eye, which is opened wide and staring at us. Our hero stares blankly ahead. They look over at a group huddled together on the floor. 
one of the group reaches a hand up and claws a rip into the wall. Through the hole, we see colour footage of our hero running along an urban street. In slow motion, they run away from us as pigeons fly overhead. They round a corner and disappear out of view. Now on a bridge, their faces set with determination as they power on. They emerge onto a bustling city street and see a whale lying in the middle of the road. Our hero stops in their tracks and stares intently at the whale. Awestruck, our hero steps closer to the creature and peers down, completely absorbed by it. Passers-by appear oblivious to the creature's presence. Our hero leans closer and we see their silhouette appear in the whale's marble grey eye. The whale narrows its eye and our hero looks up. The screen snaps to black. Directed by Douglas Bernard. Artistic direction and choreography by Botus Sever. Executive producers Hannah Belil and Lee Griffiths. Producer Shay Coleman. Director of photography Harry Wheeler. Composer Torben Lars Silvest. A Sadler's Wells commission with the support of Dance Reflections by Van Cleef and R. Pels. Supported by the Garfield Western Foundation. Far from the North. Stink Films. Sadler's Wells Digital Stage.